Hi and welcome to episode number 582 with whatsforchow.com. Deep fried buttermilk chicken is an all time favorite and this recipe gives it a whole new twist. The process is quite drawn out but easy. However, as a result, this recipe is more suited to bulk production for parties and catering. To start, measure out 400 milliliters of buttermilk and 30 milliliters of Dijon mustard into a jug. Measure out a tablespoon of salt, two teaspoons white pepper and two teaspoons cayenne pepper and add these to the jug. Mix this all until well combined. Place 8 to 12 chicken pieces on a chopping board and use your carving fork to perforate the pieces all over. Open a large vacuum packing bag and fold the top section inside out. This prevents messing on the bag and helps to keep the bag open. Place the chicken pieces in the bag and pour in the buttermilk mixture. Fold the top of the bag back and vacuum seal the bag. Notice that I've elevated the vacuum packer. This allows all the air to escape while inhibiting the flow of liquid upward and into the machine. As soon as the liquid starts to rise, hit the stop button and then the seal button. It is a good idea to double seal the top and bottom of the bag. Place the bag of chicken in your refrigerator overnight for the buttermilk to do its magic. The following day remove the bag from the refrigerator. For this step you need a large pot on an induction range or a slow cooker or a digital pot like this one. Half fill the pot with water and set the temperature to 76 Celsius or 169 Fahrenheit. When the water has reached this temperature, place the bag of chicken pieces in the pot. Set your time for two hours and go and drink coffee. After two hours, remove the bag and cut it open. Place a rack in a large pan and pour the chicken out onto the rack. All of the liquid will drain through the rack and can be discarded. Transfer the chicken pieces to a clean dish towel and pat them dry using another dish towel. For the coating, combine 1 and 3 quarter cups of all-purpose flour with a quarter cup of cornstarch and 15 milliliters of fine salt. Whisk 4 eggs thoroughly and pour these into a second bowl. Add a tablespoon of garlic powder and a tablespoon of onion powder to the flour and mix this in. Take a little of the flour mixture and sprinkle it over a large platter. This is where the coated chicken will rest and the flour prevents the chicken from sticking to the platter and getting damaged. Working with one piece of chicken at a time, dunk the chicken in the egg to wet it all over. Transfer it to the flour and dredge it to get a good first coating. Back to the egg to wet all of the flour. And again into the flour to get a good solid coating all over. Continue until all the chicken pieces are complete. Allow the coated chicken to set for 20 minutes before continuing. Half fill a wok or large pan with oil and heat it to 170 Celsius or 340 Fahrenheit. Carefully add the chicken pieces to the oil and fry these for 6 to 8 minutes until the coating is crispy and golden. The chicken is already cooked so the frying process is purely to crisp the coating and reheat the chicken. Remove the pieces from the oil and drain any excess oil on kitchen paper. Serve the chicken piping hot with the accompaniments of your choice and enjoy. Thanks for joining us today. Please subscribe, like and share and we'll see you again tomorrow.